Welcome to this video presentation by the postgraduate student whose poster it represents. We will miss the bustling crowds around the posters at the All Energy Conference this year, but we hope you enjoyed this online version that we have created. Before the presentation starts, I would like to acknowledge the support of our generous sponsors. Without this support, the competition could not proceed and the winning entrants would not receive a financial award. Our platinum sponsor is the Victorian Government through the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning. Its brands include Victorian Energy Compare, Victorian Energy Saver, Victorian Energy Upgrade Program, Energy Scorecard and Energy for Business. Their contact details are on the slide. Monash University's Monash Energy Institute is one of our silver sponsors. With over 170 staff involved, the Institute has a vision to bring people together to solve global energy problems. The Monash student posters in this competition represent some of that work. Baywa Renewable Energy is another silver sponsor. Baywa develops both wind and solar projects in Australia as part of a global energy portfolio. Baywa staff have also supported our AIE events in the past including our Young Energy Professionals Speed Networking events. Our final silver sponsor is the University of Melbourne's Melbourne Energy Institute. Many of you will have attended their regular forums that keep the energy community and public up to date on technical and policy energy matters, and the University of Melbourne posters in this competition reflect some of that work. Seed Advisory is our bronze sponsor, and this small but well-recognised energy consultancy covers both the technical and regulatory fields. Seed Advisory has been a regular supporter of the AIE and a presenter at our events. Lastly, we thank All Energy for hosting our live poster events over the last decade, and we look forward to doing this again post-COVID. These last slides show you our poster winners in the last competition. And I now hand you over to the poster presentation. Thank you. Hello, here you can see AI poster competition 2020. The topic I'm presenting is written here. Uh, you can see two most important things, sodium based energy storage technologies and water as additives. I'm Shami Akhtar Firdosi and my two supervisors, Professor Patrick Howlett and Professor Maria Forsyth. The first of all, I'd like to say why you use sodium, because uh, today's most batteries is used lithium ion technology. And unfortunately, lithium source is getting limited and so price is increasing with a threat of shortage. That's the strength of sodium. It's a thousand times more abundant than lithium. If you see the um, uh, difference between these two, you can see the specific capacity is still lower than uh, lithium. However, the price is really cheaper. That's why researchers are now focusing on this sodium-based battery and further development. In the battery, there are several parts, anode, cathode, separator, and electrolyte. And I'm working on this electrolyte, which is an integral part of the battery. Using additives during electrolyte preparation is an important aspect uh, because additives can enhance transport performance during the composition of the solid electrolyte interface um, layer uh, and alter many other characteristics. There are many types of additives, organic and inorganic. However, introducing another new chemicals may have several drawbacks like dendrite formation or side reaction could happen during battery operation. And uh, moreover, it may not cost effective. That's why I, I'm using simply water uh, as additives because it is adventitious contaminant and ultimately it will be profitable. To prove this idea, I'm going to show some research outcome. I used pyrolydium based ionic liquid electrolytes um, uh, where I add super concentrated salt um, uh, because super concentrated salt can give faster charge transfer. And actually, I add water in this. Um, electrolyte. So if you see the um, basic physical uh, properties, you can see the conductivity and viscosity. After we add this super concentrated salt in this neat IL, you can see that the conductivity value really goes down and the viscosity goes higher. After we add water, those uh, conductivity value brings back like neat IL 
and viscosity value significantly decreases, which means iron mobility enhancement after water radiation. After that, if we apply this for electrochemical uh, cell cycling, you can see sodium metal symmetrical cell uh, where we applied higher current density at elevated temperature. You can see that both dry and wet uh, shows the stable voltage polarization, which means that water is being actively involved in the formation of an improved SCI layer for high water content sample. If you see the shape of the voltage profile, you can see there is no such arc formation during the deposition or dissolution, which means that new nucleation site appeared, which prevent any unwanted impurities or dendrite growth under this high current density. If you see the impedance spectroscopic measurement, you can see after water radiation, after uh, cell cycling, resistance um, value decrease uh, significantly, uh, which means that um, there is a formation of an ion conductive and protective ACI in which the presence of water is of crucial importance. If you see the morphological structure after the ACM, you can see both the cases surface seems like quite smooth. However, if you see the closer observation, you can see that there is a dendrite uh, structure appeared for the dry sample. However, wet sample, you see there are very significantly two types of structure. One is compact layer and is microporous structure. We did the energy dispersive x-ray spectroscopic point analysis you can see that both uh, the microporous structure have higher amount of beneficial fluorine sulfur nitrogen content compared to the compact layer however both um, uh, uh, deposition are uh, important uh, for um, cell cycling after that we applied it for longer cycling where we applied uh, for a higher capacity 4 milliamp hour per square centimeters so you can see the um, the cell was quite smooth and stable uh, cycling this is the benchmark performance for sodium metal cycling higher capacity and stable and if you see the surface you can surface quite smooth and there are a lot of microporous structure appeared after that, we applied this, all the novel uh, ionic liquid electrolytes for device prototyping, prototyping at our um, uh, local research center, battery hub. Uh, you can see this is the commercial grade uh, battery. Uh, we called it the pouch cell uh, sodium metal battery. We assembled it using the robotic stack, uh, staker at our research center. Until now, we find 30% improvement in energy density compared to the commercial lithium ion or sodium ion battery and it is safe because it can stable over 200 degrees centigrade and uh, currently we are optimizing it um, uh, through collaborating with local um, uh, industries thank you very much